closure something you have to create for yourself or is it something that somebody else has to provide for you? It's kind of this age old question that pretty much every week on my podcast, I ask whoever comes on, um, which by the way, my podcast is called The Breakup Breakdown. It's on the Pioneer Network, which Bert owns. I have to legally tell you that. And people come on and tell their breakup stories. And we talk a lot about closure. And I have always stood by the idea that you have to create your own closure. If a relationship ends on whatever terms, I feel like you can't rely on somebody else to give you that closure. But somebody challenged that belief on my podcast this week that made me think, oh, sometimes maybe somebody does have to give you closure for you to move on. So a couple years ago, I interviewed this guy who to this day is like one of the only male interviews I've ever done because shocker, uh, men don't like to gossip on the internet. So (laughs) I don't have a lot of male interviews, but this guy actually came on and talked about this relationship that he was in for four years. And he said one day it just ended out of nowhere. And And even though they had been broken up for a little bit when he came on, it really seemed like he was grappling with the fact that he didn't have closure. He's like, we were living together. And then one day she looks at me and goes, I don't really want to do this anymore. And then leaves. And now his life is imploded and he can't stay in the same friendship circles. And he lost his dog that they shared. It was just really traumatic and hard for him. And I think one of the reasons he agreed to go on the podcast was I think in some way he kind of hoped that I would be able to tell him what happened in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like get from a woman's perspective, what do you think happened? And you know, I could throw out a million ideas and a million hypotheses as to why his relationship would end. But at the end of the day, like you either have to create your own closure or you have to continuously ask this person until they give you the answer that you're seeking. And so a couple of years went by and he actually reached out to me and he said, Hey, Abby, like I know it's been a while. It's literally been like two years, but I actually finally got that closure that I was looking for. And I finally found out the reason why my relationship ended after all these years. Now, I'm not going to spill the details on what happened. If you want to hear what actually came to the conclusion for that story, you can check out the breakup breakdown wherever you get your podcast. It came out this week. But I talked to a therapist to kind of dive into that concept of Does someone give me closure or do I have to give myself closure? And there was really no yes or no answer for this because even though he got closure from his ex based off of something she said, it's not always the case for everybody. So I was like, if I'm somebody that's just gotten out of a relationship and I'm feeling a severe lack of closure and I feel like I can't move on from this relationship, like what's the first step for me to do? And she said... Um, I talked to a, a therapist named Wheezy Haley, who's actually based out of Atlanta. And she said, the first thing you want to do is play it out in your head. Like if you really feel like that person is going to be able to give you closure, play out like what those steps look like. Like what am I looking for from this person that I think is going to give me closure? Like if they were going to tell me anything that was going to get me to put this relationship to bed, what would that be? How would that make me feel? And is that actually something that's helpful? Because then you might need closure from that conversation that makes you feel like there's still loose ends tying up. And so you can definitely go down that route. But she also said that it's also probably not healthy for everybody to go and reach out for somebody to get closure. Like sometimes you really do just have to do the inner work yourself in therapy and think about what you liked about that relationship. And at the end of the day, like, I think what a lot of people are looking for from closure is just the desire to not want that person anymore. And so maybe it's going to take some time and some therapy for you to be able to lose those feelings. But at the end of the day, end of the day, there's really nothing that someone can tell you to make them want them less. Yeah. Listening um, to this is reminding me of a video that keeps popping up in my feed. Um, So I agree. I'm like, other people can't make you happy. You have to create your own happiness. I don't feel like other people can give you closure. You have to give yourself closure. Just like this video I saw of this guy saying like he was um, l- lamenting, like there was like a, some kind of life coach therapist talking to a group and he was like, and, and, they, and they pushed my button. They knew what button to push and they pushed my button. And she looked at him and she goes, it's on you because if that button wasn't there, they wouldn't be able to push it. Ooh. And I was like, Oh, I bet Wheezy wish she, she would have said that. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Wheezy? <laughs> but cause I, and I was sitting there cause, but cause like when people do you wrong or if like they push you or whatever, it's, you, you feel entitled to your reaction, right? Somebody does you wrong. You feel entitled to speak out. And if your feelings are hurt, those feelings are valid, et cetera. But the way and he was trying, he was trying to fight it. 
But she was staying steadfast and like, no, that's on you for having a button for them to push. Mm -hmm. And you have to be the one to take care of the button. It's not their responsibility not to push it. It's your responsibility not to have it. Yeah, I've stopped seeking closure a long time ago. I Mm -hmm. used to I used to feel like I needed it to get on to the next chapter. But at some point, I think you just realize that people have their own stories, their own situations, Mm -hmm. their Mm -hmm. own reasons for why they do things. And they always think they're right. So at some point, you just have to take control of your own life and your own destiny and get over it and move on. Yeah, it has been my experience also that when somebody asks you for closure and you try to give it to them, they still don't really tie up the loose end. And if it's not closure the way that they went into the conversation mm-hmm. thinking it was going to go, then it's still not closure. Because at the end of the day, they can't, <laughs> there's nothing someone can tell you to make them want them less. So you can go looking for it, but I think really the only thing that can take care of that is time and lots and lots of therapy for getting rid of your buttons. Tell them again about the Breakup Breakdown. The Breakup Breakdown podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Again, it's on the Pioneer Network, which Bert owns. The Bert Show.